Hi there, in this short video, I'm gonna show you our Flowster Capture extension, what it's for and how you can use it to cut the time it takes you to create your standard operating procedures by as much as 90%. So let's dive into it. So the Capture work, uh, extension allows you to really create your processes on the fly. And there's all sorts of types of processes that you can create. I mean, you can create really any type of process with it. Companies frequently use our software and the Capture extension to create onboarding processes for employees or clients, business plans, new product launches, campaign creations, pretty much anything that you can think up. And the number one reason to have all these processes in your business, of course, is to accomplish two really important things, and that's to reduce the amount of errors that your team is take making, as well as to significantly cut the training time, literally, by a probably 50 to 70% of your new employees. Now, a lot of people use something called Loom to make um, st their standard operating procedures. It Loom produces a video, but the problem with videos is the more of them that you have, the more of them that are going out of date on a regular basis, and as you might understand, updating videos is a very time-consuming process, Plus, as far as the user experience goes, if you produce a six or seven minute video, it's nearly impossible for somebody to memorize all of the steps in that video so they're forced to hit play and pause and play and pause and work their way through the video. So our capture extension is a much more effective way of making your SOPs than using Loom and it gets even better if you combine the capture extension with our full flowster.app application, which you can use to document, delegate, onboard, train, systematize, and scale your business. So without further ado, let's jump into a quick demo to show you how it all works. So we want to create a process for creating a new blog post, just as an example. So in order to do that, I'm gonna click on the capture extension I'm gonna to start to capture my workflow. I'm then gonna click on a new blog post. So the first thing I'm gonna do with a new blog post is I want to make sure that I give it a title following whatever format that we would use. And the next thing that I wanna do is I say, hey, I want this blog post to be categorized as a blog post and it has to do with business growth and this particular would be featured content. And then I would decide that I needed to have a featured image on every blog post. So we'll choose this as our featured image. And then of course we would uh, go ahead and write the post which would be different from time to time. And then we might go down here and write, click on meta description so that we know that we needed a meta description and that we'd wanna untick allow comments. And let's just say that that concludes all of the, the mandatory steps of our process. Obviously this is an example, so it's an overly simplified process. However, it's good enough to help you to understand what Flowster Capture is going to do. So what Capture has done now is it's literally captured every single one of the clicks that I made. And as you can see, when, you, when it captures a click, it actually highlights where you've put your mouse and where you've clicked. And then anything that you've typed in, it's also typed that in. So when you're done, you've literally created the uh, all of the steps that were involved in creating that particular process. And this saves you the time of having to manually create all these screenshots and then annotate these screenshots and so forth. Now here's how Capture and the full Flowster app work beautifully together. So I've got this raw piece of content that I made with the Capture extension, which is completely free. Then I'm gonna to want to copy all of the HTML, and you can copy it into other apps, but it does work it does work best in Flowster. So you're gonna copy all of these clicks that we captured to the, your clipboard, and then you're gonna open up a new template and simply put your mouse anywhere hit paste on your keyboard and voila, all of the steps that you created using Capture are now here. You can see that we've got that beautiful annotation of where we clicked and I can go ahead and I can give these more intuitive names if I would like. 
I can organize them with putting heading separators in them. If there's any erroneous clicks that I don't need, um, I can go ahead and get rid of those. Let's just say I don't want this one, for example. And so now I've got a template that I've created on the fly and I can go ahead and run a workflow and I can assign this to say somebody on my team and go ahead and give it a due date. And now, in this case, I've assigned it to myself. I know that that workflow is going to be on my calendar and it's gonna be due in two days. And if this was a subordinate of mine, obviously it would have been assigned to them. And they're simply going to click on each one of the steps of the process, read the instructions of the process, and then put a tick in the box when they're done that step and then go to the next step and read the instructions and do the thing and put a tick in the box. And by the time they are done, they will have clicked all the tick boxes. So that in a nutshell is Flowster Capture. If you would like to get it, simply go to flowster.app slash capture, click this pink button. That's gonna take you through to the Chrome store and you can go ahead and add it into your Chrome browser. Thanks very much for watching.